County, everyone. It's me once again, the one and only Cooper Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about movies that was supposed to be made but weren't. Of course, the film I'm going to be about was going to be released after some time after Frozen 2 because that film was actually a box office success. So, of course, you you will want to ride on the momentum of some successes of movies and whatnot, understandably so. Because of that, it doesn't mean there's going to be some guarantee. So, anyway, yeah, this one interview was going to be involved as well, whom had helped with films like, you know, Tangled, which was also successful. That doesn't mean your next project is going to be successful. And just because you're part of a company that's popular, that you may not guarantee either. This woman, you know, she was going to be a part of it as well. She was a part of this film called The Good Dinosaur and Inside Out as well. So, yeah, it's going to be released by this company, folks. And yeah, they actually had a little something, something for them. Oh um, well, yeah, they actually had like uh, uh, something they want to do with the public. They spoke to a lot of people about this project. So, okay, it seems like they're going to actually do it. It seems like they're going to have their own vision come to life. They were trying to build up some hype for this project, but unfortunately, even then, it didn't help, really. But yeah, they, they already had a story idea for this film. It was basically centered around this, um, this, this little girl who's about 11 years old. But point being, it was going to be set in Spain during the age of exploration. The film was uh, centered around this character named Jack as he discovers a war of giants hidden within the cloud. Jack befriends this giant female character, again, who is, you know, 11 years old, but he's 60 feet tall. He's feisty, and of course, and I wants to do a lot of things, and he gets treated like a little doll. The visual confirmed that they already had some storyboards going on for it. And just so you know, folks, he also did movies like Rick and Ralph, which did get a lot of positive reviews. And he also did the other movie as well, called Zootopia, which, yes, also got a lot of positive reviews. So even in Zootopia, they even made a brief reference to it as well. So, yeah, they made a reference to it. There you go. So yeah, again, you think that there's a lot of stuff going for it. you. Think a lot of people would be saying that? Okay, there you go. Film had been planned to come out in originally in 2015, but then it was pushed back in 2018. So yeah, and then it was also going to be a schedule of that year of March 9th of 2018. But however, on June. 30th of 2016, the animation studios that worked on Record Ralph would be released on that date. So it was instead pushed to November 24th of 2018. The film again delayed for a 2020 release after Record Ralph breaks the internet that uh, took previous November of that date, but until it was eventually a uh, Load, I guess you can say. So yeah, that was a thing. So yeah, there was it looked like there was gonna be some hope, but just delay after delay after delay, 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 delay. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Later.